Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Infinity 2 The Cursed Gem. This is Miles Luigi. I'm the chief of Pop Tart! And. Okay, why did I just run right into a spike? I don't know why you just ran into a spike. Are you sure you're okay? Are you taking your medicine? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, good. Just double checking. My Not that loyal we minions! Need you to go insane again and. My loyal minions, send all the troops to the rocky ruins of Mario and Luigi. Oh, let me try that again. If Mario and Luigi find the Temple of Terror, we're done for! Now move it! This Temple of Terror looks really important, and we have a static background of. something that looks like my uh, niece or nephew could draw. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crappy. Uh, I, I'm sorry, reading our Kratos Bengals. That looks pretty crappy. I apologize. Actually, I shouldn't apologize. I I'm telling the truth. That looks crappy. Wow. Yeah, it's somehow like on a monstrous hill, but on the overworld map, it's flat. Contradiction! You found one. And wherever lies a constant contradiction, therein lies the truth. What is the truth, though? Is it on a hill, or is it just in a flat plains? I don't know, what do I win? Do I win a cookie? Uh, you win my medication, maybe. Actually, no, I'd probably get in trouble with the law if I gave that to you. I was gonna say, hello, I can sell that! A anyway, it appears to be pitch black, no stars visible, which, uh, means it's a super duper cloudy day outside? Either that or it's the apocalypse. <laughs> the apocalypse brought about by Super Mario Infinity 2, the cursed gem. Well, it is a curse. I indeed, I, I I suppose. In the beginning of this ROM hack, it said we're inside the gem. So, this game can get away with a lot of fantasy bullshit like that. Oh crap, man. Goddamn moles. So these contradictions, like this thing being on a hill when it's really a flat plain, and it being absolute pitch black outside, can be completely explained away by the fact that we're in the cursed gem. Exactly. What a great plot device. Exactly. Yeah, just imagine creating a story. Our heroes have entered into a strange world from this gem. Now you can literally create any environment you want, including an environment where Mario goes to space. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Backstory. Lazy and cheap. Uh, I, I, I use that example because that actually has been done by Nintendo. <coughs> Super Mario Galaxy. <coughs> well, at least it wasn't that lazy. I mean, yeah. They reused some stuff, but... Well, the Super Mario Galaxy games were actually good, that's the thing. The th but Nintendo, frankly, has ran out of ideas how the Bowser can kidnap the princess, and they're like, well, throw in space! And boom, it works. I also think it was a way to explain, we need Mario to jump around different environments other than the same damn environments, it being around the castle or a Mushroom Kingdom or something like that. We don't feel like creating any new worlds. So, uh, ooh, space. Space is a good idea. Reminds me of a, uh, of a game. Space! I'm in space. 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 You're in space. I know I'm in space. Space. <laughs> I don't know why, but your random saying of the word space reminded me of a game called Space Quest, which I never played, but it recently came to my attention because I've been watching these Retsu praises of King's Quest, and it reminds me that the company that made that also made Space Quest. Do you know w what game I was referring to when I was going space? Actually, I missed your reference. Sorry. <gasps> the YouTube community will punish you for that. No! I don't need any punishments. This game is punishing enough. Six. Not like and it shroom. matters. I, I wanted the shroom more than I wanted the six. <laughs> I guess the YouTube community will punish me, fudge. Yeah, well, you just have to wait to see what they come down with your sentence. Crap. Please, please be, please be, please be gentle with your verdict as we enter Rocky Ruins 2. I don't think he played it, but... I, so, just let's, let's clear that up. I don't think he's played it, so... He's probably played the first one, but he hasn't played the second one to understand that reference. So, I, I must say, go lenient. I've played both Super Mario Galaxy games before it somehow happens to be that. <laughs> no. Not even close. That's what I thought. Oh, yay, we got mud for lava. <laughs> the 
dangerous chocolate mud and makes its appearance in the ruins level 2. I forgot what the first name of this world was. I was gonna say Raisin Ruins, but that's the wrong game. Yes. I I'd rather call this place Raisin Ruins, though, because that is a great name. <laughs> it wasn't bad. At least they didn't call it, like, Milk Dud Island. <laughs> Or Chocolate Island. Or, Her or Hershey's Nut Crunch or something, you know? I believe the name Hershey's is trademarketed and you'd get, like, in trouble if you used that name. Oh. Uh, unless the Hershey's company decided that you using that name was just free publicity and not, like, infringing on their trademark or something like that. Well, what about the same for Milk Duds? It's like Milk Duds, Reese's, it's all part of... Well, two major companies. Well, we got the Hershey Company and the Mars, isn't it? Yeah, Mars Bars. I sadly don't know my corporate culture very much to tell you who makes all the candies and chocolates in this world, but yeah, it is only a select few of companies that do. Yeah, it's Mars, it's Mars and Hershey's, if I remember correctly. Anyway, this level is a cave level with classical cave music. Sounds like ballerina music. <laughs> how, how can you take the classical Mario 1 theme as ballerina music? I don't know, I can't hear it, so I'm assuming <laughs> again. I'll have to hear it when I watch it again. Oh my gosh. This this point, our, our regular viewers now know, whenever we record this, Evil Pop-Tart can't hear a damn thing. And before I continue on, my minions, I'm not calling you loyal anymore. I'm forming a plan, so stop them. We don't want them to learn the gem's secrets. Wow. Stop them or else I will threaten you, and I won't call you loyal. What a punishment. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, yeah, the little dude steps on the switch. Well, I've seen that trick before. It's very annoying. Indeed it is. Uh, the point I was getting on earlier is our regular viewers, not necessarily new viewers, our regular viewers now know that you can't hear a damn thing whenever we record these. Maybe I should set up virtual audio cable so you can hear them. Mm, nah, too much pain in the ass. We tried that before, and we get static auto-feed. Oh, yeah, that's remember. right. We get horrible static, and it's just ear blistering. Future Let's Players, learn from Miles, Luigi, and Evil Pop-Tart's experience. Wow, that Buzzy Beetle just committed suicide. Yeah, you probably needed him. Hmm, the background is moving. <laughs> We're flying! <laughs> We're flying! Okay, so what the hell was the point of that, Oh, guys? wait, this is actually a room. This isn't one screen big. That was my mistake. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> boiling lava. Oh, I thought this was a single screen. No, it actually continues on. That, that was funny. I want to do that again. Oh, oh God. It's like you advance time. Oh, here's a big whoosh. <laughs> and Mario and Luigi find themselves at 2300 AD somehow. It's already the end of the world. And the world is very desolate and very minimal on resources and brown for some reason. <laughs> because the future is brown if I've learned anything from video games. Future is always, like, disheveled. And brown. And brown, yes. But there, it's not... You're not brown! Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Yes! Ooh, the background glows. Yes! Yes! Another level down! And with that, we find ourselves at the third level of the Rocky Ruins. Let's go to it. Th there's this level, uh, that just made me think. There's this level, and I forgot which doom. It was one of the final dooms. My minions, my plan is forming. Clearly, they needs to defeat Lemmy to proceed. I think you need a spell checker. They needs to defeat Lemmy to proceed. I'll do something to make sure they won't. One of the final Dooms had a level called Go To It, which was a remake of the first level of Doom 2, except, uh, it was much more badass. I seem to be recalling that level. And by the way, he said my loyal minions again. And he said, I'm not calling you my loyal minions anymore. His threat was empty. That was a false threat. I I'm surprised I haven't yet tapped to revert back on a save state yet. Wow. Well... Like you said yourself, this ROM is lazily put together. Well, when you need to make 118 levels, 
You're bound to cut corners, aren't you? True, but... A little more corner cutting than I'd like. Now, I'm the one who's supposed to be giving shit to Kratos of Angles for reading. A a anyway, I see the return of our lovely contradictory background here. I'm gonna die? It's a good thing I didn't fall in that pit. Because I was thinking, do I go in the pit or where do I go? Okay. You can go up on the screen, just not down on the screen. Because there was a couple episodes, you know, where you could fly forever. <laughs> that would be useful. Uh, I'm now looking at it, I'm assuming that's that Temple of Doom or whatever in the world it's called. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it's safe for me to assume that is the Temple of Temples. <laughs> it has, -E. like, four pillars or four monuments on the top of it. I'm curious if those will be significant or if those are just for decoration. Probably decoration, because it would look stupid with just a green roof with nothing protruding out of it. <laughs> exactly. Redraw that with just nothing but a green roof, and it would look really, really... Tacky. Tacky. I was going to say stupid. It would, it would be stupid, too, but it would be stupid and tacky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got okay. squished. You can get squished if there's a ceiling there, not if there's nothing there. <laughs> I think I have to keep this guy, too. No oh, fudge. No oh, fudge. I'm just gonna float the rest of the way. Screw this. <laughs> I was wondering why you didn't do that the second time. I am concentrating! During moments of concentration, Miles Luigi commentary may become null and void. <laughs> it consists of robot noises. <laughs> I believe he had a BIOS error code just now, folks. <laughs> Replace the memory in me. Re uh, reseat your memory. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Infinity to the Cursed Gem, we're going to go ahead and take on the Ruins Ghost House and get to that Temple of Temples in the background. Presumably next time, so see you then. This has been Miles Luigi. And your ever popped up.